Hello and welcome to this grcpool.com video guide. In this guide we are going to pick up where the previous guide of setting up the grcpool.com with Boink on a headless Linux box left off. This means we will be installing Gridcoin on our headless machine and we will cover installing using the PPA and compiling from GitHub. Let's get started. First check on our Boink manager which is attached to our Linux headless machine and we can see that we have plenty of number fields tasks that are still running. Let's head on over to our grcpool.com account, refresh our page, and we can see now our host has a magnitude, and there is a balance owed up in the top right corner. So we're gonna now try to get our balance owed into our Gridcoin wallet on our Linux machine. So let's move on to the installation. There is a wiki page for both the pre-compiled PPA version and the GitHub version of installation. We'll be heavily referring to those two pages and copying commands from them. So first let's go to the pre-compiled PPA wiki page and we'll scroll down just a bit and we'll find our Ubuntu PPA commands. And we're gonna grab the first one here and copy and paste it into our terminal. And after that completes running, we will go back to the wiki page and grab the next command. Copy and paste this. And there's a short note on here indicating that the leisure upgrades will be delayed by possibly a day and the mandatory upgrades will happen much quicker. Push enter to continue that command. And we're gonna go back to the wiki page and grab our apt-get update command, paste that in. And after that completes, going back to the wiki page, we can see there's two choices, a Gridcoin Research QT and a Gridcoin Research D. We're after the daemon version, since we're on a headless box, and we're gonna run that in command. Once that's complete, we can confirm it's installed by doing a which command. We can see that Gridcoin Research D is in the user bin directory. Before we execute Gridcoin, we first want to make a configuration file. To do this, we're going to, from our home directory, we're going to make there the .gridcoin research, capital G, capital R, then CD into that new directory and create a file called gridcoinresearch.conf, which is all lowercase and then edit that file. And we're gonna first put in it some lines from our wiki page near the bottom. I'm gonna copy those lines and then paste them back into our new file. And of course, we're gonna to have to make a few changes here. The first thing we're gonna change is our email address. I'm gonna just change this to investor since an email address is for solo research. And we're gonna be doing the pool here. Then I'm gonna modify the RPC user and the RPC password. Of course, you wanna make this more complicated than I'm doing in this test example. And finally, one last thing in this file, I'm going to create another add node line and I'm going to point it to the pool at www.grcpool.com and then save the file and close it out and back to the terminal window. Now we're finally ready to start our Gridcoin wallet. And we're gonna do that by issuing the Gridcoin Research D space dash daemon switch. And this will start up Gridcoin running in the background. After it started, we can do a tail dash F on the debug.log and we should see some good messaging in here indicating that it's up and running. One issue we'll have here though is since we're starting from scratch, we're gonna be way behind on the synchronization. At the time of this video, we're looking for about 960,000 blocks. So that's gonna take a while just to let this sync naturally. So what we can do is download the snapshot and unzip it into our directory to be able to get to a synchronization point faster. In order to do that, quit our tail with a control C, and then I'm going to issue a stop command on the Gridcoin wallet by doing Gridcoin research D space stop. And then we can tail the log again and wait for the Gridcoin exit. 
to come up. Now that we've exited, I'm going to go get our snapshot zip file and do a wget. And we're going to start our download of the zip file. This will take several minutes depending on your network speed. Now that our file is done downloading, we can unzip it using a unzip snapshot.zip command. If you do not have this installed, as I do not here, you can do a sudo apt-get install unzip and to get the unzip command installed to your system. Once it's installed, then you can issue the unzip snapshot.zip command and it'll prompt you to extract it into its current location. It should be safe to do an all extraction and this will not overwrite your wallet or your configuration file. After our extraction of files is complete, I'm going to do a list files and we can see there's some additional items now. And while we're in here, we might as well remove the snapshot. We do an rm snapshot.zip. And now we're going to go ahead and start Gridcoin. We're doing a Gridcoin research d daemon. And this will fire up our Gridcoin wallet client. To make sure everything's running on the client, we can do a tail on the debug.log. And after a few lines goes by, we can feel pretty comfortable that it's off and running. Closing out the tail, then we can do our get info option on the Gridcoin Research D. And we can see that our block number is now much more reasonable. Let's get our account address and update the pool website. In order to get the default account address, I'm going to do Gridcoin Research D space get account address and then a pair of quotes after that. And it should return us back a GRC address. So I'm going to copy this address and paste it into the pool website. And we'll need our password or our 2FA token to complete that. Now we're going to move on to compiling our grid coin from the GitHub source. In order to do that, we're going to heavily refer to the wiki page for the compilation install. And the first thing we're going to do from there is grab the long list of dependencies and copy and paste this apt-git install into our terminal and run it. And it'll take a moment to download and install all the dependencies. All right, now back to our wiki page. We're going to scroll down. Since we're on Ubuntu 16, we can skip a bunch of this at the top. And we're going to go back, make sure we're in our home directory. And then we're going to do a git clone on the GitHub account for Gridcoin. And then we're going to cd into the gridcoin-research directory. And the next line on the wiki is something that I think is out of order. You can, we'll save that and run it after we go into the source folder. So we're going to skip down to seeding into the source folder. Now we can do our make dir for the object directory. Do a clean make. We're going to finally compile the Gridcoin source code by running our make-fmakefile.unix and we're going to disable the UPnP option. And this will take several minutes again for it to run through its compilation. Our compilation is complete and we're going to do a list on the files. And we can see that Gridcoin Research D now exists in our source folder. One final option you can do is a strip on the Gridcoin Research D and this will decrease the file size significantly as you can see here by about 50%. If you're just doing the GitHub compilation version, there's a command on the wiki which will install the Gridcoin Research D into the user bin. I'm not going to do that since we already have the PPA installed in that location. And then just as in the PPA version, there's information on the wiki page on about making the Gridcoin research conf file and the location and also some direction on getting the snapshot.zip file. So finally what we're going to do next we're going to wait a little bit and see if our payout comes into our Gridcoin wallet on our Linux machine from the pool. It's been a couple of hours and we are past the time period when the payout from the pool should have occurred.
Let's go check our pool page and we can see our out is down to zero and a payout for 11 grid coins has been issued just a couple hours ago. Go back to our terminal, connect it to our Linux box and we're gonna do a get info on the Gridcoin client and we can see there our balance is 11 GRC and of course our blocks are now synchronized with the network. That concludes this video guide for setting up Linux Gridcoin with the pool and getting a payout. Thanks for watching.